here. Potentially be seeing, you're probably seeing squads over there. Probably at this point. Yeah, if not um, now, like within the next 10 minutes. Yeah, for sure. So make sure you follow um, all three of the platforms there. Ace Star, there he is. Um, I really want to see the Rosalina. Uh, we actually have a Rosalina uh, player in Tri-State named Con Con. Um, also Alts Bayonetta as well. So it's more like a Rosalina secondary. Um, but this character for me, Rosalina just fell off. Ooh, the Luna. Let's go. <laughs> we got it. We got to stand in the crowd. Let's go, Ace. That was definitely Ace Star. That's a K-pop thing, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, Luna okay. is a group. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I yeah. just see like Stan Luna all the time on Twitter. And Stan stuff. Luna. The player was actually Con Con during the Wi Fi era. Huh. Big brain. Um, anyway. Speaking of tags, I like how tags get recycled. Because, like, I remember I remember seeing Con Con around, but, like, there was a player, Mr. Con Con, early Smash 4. Luigi. Luigi, who was absolutely good. It was so, so good at the game. Where'd he go? I was I like, know. I really where are they? We need a we need a show like Smashers. Where are they now? Yeah. It's just like uh, I got I got a job, <laughs> or I yeah. went to school. Yeah. <laughs> that would be most of them. Yeah. yeah. I went I went and studied comp sci or psychology like every yeah. Smasher. Oh, or excuse me, I did not study. Or, oh, what? I, I studied social work. Okay. I just I work as a game dev now. Social work was the the filler arc for me. <laughs> I hate to compare myself to like anime, uh, <laughs> but that was definitely like the I don't know what to do. I'm not good enough at like math to major in computer science, so I'll just learn it on the side. Hey, that's the wave these days, honestly. Yeah, really, um, I guess to inspire some inspiration, um, your college major does not equal your life and you can do whatever you want to as long as you keep your priorities straight, you stay in school and you uh, you chase your dreams on the side. Yeah, and also like if you study hard in computer science or like how to code and stuff like that, like there's a six-figure job waiting for you somewhere. Cybersecurity, like, everybody. They, they get that bag. They get Mom that bag. and dad here helping you out, <laughs> <laughs> taking you through. Listen, kid, you can do whatever you want, but if you go into tech, you'll get some money. Stay in school, you're going to two in pools. Let's just be yeah. honest. <laughs> Statistically, most likely. All right, I know you can, you can see great things at the top of that bell curve, but we need you to look into the future, too. <laughs> Trust me, commentary doesn't make you that much money either. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah no. it's, ni it's a nice side. It's though. fun. It's fun, and it's fun. It's fun. You get to get I back do it because it's fun. Bit. Trust me. Yeah. I like to talk, too. Oh, Kalos, I hate this stage. <laughs> this stage is very polarizing. Very I, can polarizing. I just say, it's not a knock versus MDVA or anything. You guys just have the biggest menu of, sta of stages I've ever seen. I call it the Cheesecake Factory menu because there's, like, <laughs> everything here. We like variety. Pikachu. We like variety. Ooh, okay. A-Star playing Pikachu? Interesting. What happened to the Rosalina? You know what? I can't, I can't blame him. Pikachu is an infinitely better character than Pikachu's Rosalina still so and Wayfit Trainer. Yeah. yeah. We've seen a lot of Pikachu today. We saw three Pikachus. That's pretty good. Yeah. They're like, Esam isn't here, so we got to take up the mantle for him. Yeah. That's true. That's crazy when you think about it. We're definitely like super crowning a brand new glitch champion because MK Leo's not here either. Yeah. No MK Leo. No Esam. Who's going to do it? No this Tweak. No Tweak. Yeah. First seed of the tournament is Cosmos, so. That makes sense. I mean, Cosmos is doing amazing these days. But right now, we do have Distortion versus A-Star, the third. And right now, I mean, this matchup we've seen a lot of in um, both in Ultimate and in Smash 4, but Pikachu makes life so hard for ZSS in a lot of scenarios. Just so short. And ZSS doesn't have a lot of hitboxes to really land easily on Pikachu like Where that. do you think ZSS is? ZSS is, try saying that five times fast, uh, in the meta right now, because I feel like we're constantly seeing the ZSS sucks, like propaganda with the wow ZSS isn't that bad propaganda going along like right next to it. I think Mars is the only one allowed to say ZSS sucks because he's the only one who knows enough about the character I think, to yeah. really, really make that call. I mean, opinion. like, well, okay, Mars is like sharp. But like, oh, true. <laughs> we haven't seen sharp in a minute. I miss sharp. Yeah, but Ooh, ZSS okay. is still a very sharp character, I feel. Yeah, for sure. Some of these uh, flip kicks onto the stage have not been working out in Distortion's favor, but, you know, Pikachu, the character of confirms, really. Nair up smash, that's going to confirm every single time. Yeah, everything leads into everything with Pikachu, and that's why uh, if you're playing against Pikachu, you have to take some risk. This character's so small, you aren't sure when the opportunity will present itself, and that leads to overextending, and that leads to what we're seeing right now. So 37, 44% on the side of A-Star, or excuse me, on the side of Distortion, a star is just starting to run away with it. Yeah, very, very true. Pikachu going for a couple of down stilts. Ace, what I love about the, his Pikachu is that he's just really just 
kind of playing it super safe, and the confirms are really there. I feel like from what we saw a little bit earlier from Jigs, I feel like we saw the confirms were there, but I feel like Jigs actually played a little bit slower than Ace. Yeah, a lot slower, and everything had a lot more purpose. Yeah, like too. that's like, true. Astar is getting those hits in, and they're working well, but like Jigs controlled every single aspect of the game. Yeah. All right, well, once again, Kalos, not one of my favorite stages because of something like this. I feel like Kalos is very polarizing. I feel like Kalos is just so, so big. Ooh, okay, up tilt, not going to be able to do it, but the fair, not going to be able to take it either. I like to kind of, like, bait the thunder out as well. A-star, while none of these are actually KOing until this one, very consistent edge guarding. Yeah, great stuff coming through from A-star. Just rinsing, repeating the edge guard, and oh, no, don't jump. Don't, no, don't do, do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Good. Don't Good. do it again. Don't. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Because if you jumped there, you were dead. I mean, your ZSS, there was no reason for you to jump there. But if you did, it would have been a bad decision. Yeah, for sure. Distortion, though, just needs to find something at this point. Maybe a kind of a loose back air, just kind of out of the blue. Because I feel like Pikachu is really small. Um, on a stage like Kalos may actually just kind of die to it. But I feel like, once again, some of these flip picks onto the stage have really kind of messed Distortion up. I feel like none of them have actually worked in the way that Distortion wants them to work in. Yeah, it's just been getting harder and harder to get those kills and to find these kind of situations, especially when Asar has covered themselves like that. And now starting to look for grabs. You know that up throw will kill, but... I mean, your ZSS, if you whiff your grab, you're going to get punished nine yeah. times out of ten. Very true. All right, back air does come down. Going for the down air as well. Where we take going? those. We take those. Yeah, we take those. Yep, fear. Yeah. I mean, I'm you got, also like, afraid of ZSS. Yeah, me too. But you <laughs> got two socks for uh -oh. one out of there. Oh, Miss no input jab in. yeah. lock. Yeah, gets the third one there. I think... Actually, no, the timing was off, too. It was the yeah, timing. it was you definitely up, the timing. Yeah, you can get up to three, but the time was a bit too fast there. there Not much up this time. Down smash. Bye and on. I actually feel like F smash would have done it, too. I feel like, what's what's with the Pikachu's not F smashing today? A lot of Pikachu's don't do that because it's hard to get the sweet spot on a ground opponent. ZSS is super, super thin, too. So sometimes, skinny queen. Yeah, skinny queen. So it's hard <laughs> to get um, certain confirms on her. And Down Smash is a lot more consistent. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So A-Star going to go up 1-0 in the set right now. I do not want to go back to Kalos. Yeah. Ooh. I, I saw a Lilat hover. That was Ew. terrible. Ew. I literally forgot about the stage. I have not commentated. I, I haven't seen that stage today. Lilat isn't real, guys. Honestly, when I come down for homecoming, if I'm not commentating pools, I'm definitely going to take some people to <laughs> Ew. Ew. I have to be the martyr that says, hey, get rid of this stage. A Zelda on Lilac. <gasps> Go, Zelda. Don't do it. Uh, Ace, please don't. Uh, Zelda Pikachu is unwinnable. Definitely like bottom two matchups. Oof. It's just that Pikachu is a really great zoner breaker, too. Uh, but here we go. Pikachu is going to be the pick for A-Star once again. Distortion going to go back to the ZSS. I actually feel like the stage definitely could have played a factor in last time, but right now it's just all the A-Star show. Yeah. And he wants to make sure that you subscribe to all the <laughs> channels because A-Star is looking pretty clean with it right now. And oh, shout out to Party Hat Pikachu, by the way. Best well, one. Yeah. Coolest all since Smash 64. Also, uh, Pichu Goggles, uh, also best one. Yeah. Blue, Blue Alt, best one. Uh, up smash, though, is going to come out from Distortion. Looking a little bit more comfortable now. Yeah, some of these uh, phaser whips we weren't exactly seeing last time. We saw a lot of uh, flip kick onto stage, but we weren't seeing any of the Zare as well. I feel like Zare would be pretty useful versus Pikachu because of, you know, aerial movement. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to uh, track down Pikachu with it because, again, so small. But the uh, side Bs cover the ground. There's no way that anyone's ducking behind that. But right now, yeah, using a lot of the up smash to check down the aerial approach, too. I really like that option. Ooh, okay, rolls in. I think A-Star definitely wasn't expecting that as well. Here we go. Distortion just has to find nice. one thing in, but Thunderbolt, there, up smash. Great com great combination. Yeah, it's a really good confirm right there. Now A-Star is starting to hang back a bit, just waiting for Distortion to come to him. And, yep, nice DI into a hole. Didn't dash forward quite enough. Unfortunate stuff. That should have been a stock, but instead A-Star is ready to take all this extra credit and maybe even take a stock to force off stage situation enough. Flip kick onto the stage once again. Not the best option here from Distortion. A-Star going to be able to recover as well. Side B does come out, but I actually like the crawl there to kind of anticipate something. Ooh, great on A-Star to anticipate the roll as well. A-Star playing really well. Yeah, this is looking like it's starting to run away from Distortion really quick. 
not able to get the kill right now. I mean, building up a bit of rage, a back air, up smash, might be able to do it soon. But, like, right now, A-Star is just trapping Distortion on the lead. Going for a back throw there, kind of interesting. But, Green, maybe, maybe it was all a bait. Maybe it was all a bait for the flip kick. Maybe. Ooh, okay, Jab Jab comes out. Once again, we, I feel like we saw the same exact scenario last time. Uh, and using the phaser whip at this time uh, to secure the KO, but ooh, ooh, gets the ooh. trip. Ooh, okay, A-Star feeling himself a little bit. Yeah, I love it. I love those Pratt Pratt Ball, Pratt Ball confirms. Like, yeah. give me more of those, give me more of those. Pikachu's very good at setting those up. Come up from the ledge. Distortion is going to be able to find a side B once again. Looking for anything, though. Nice get-up attack from the ledge. I feel like that's to kind of humble A-Star. Like, hey, listen, like, I know you're confident right now, but you weren't expecting that one. Yeah. Uh, learning a little bit from the flow chart from always getting red on the roll. And this is definitely doable for Distortion as well. I feel like they're playing a little bit more confident now. Okay, yeah. Throwing out more down smashes. Throwing out more of the moves that you need against Pikachu. Yeah, like, very true. No ZSS wants to throw out down smashes in these ways, but you have to. No ZSS wants to, like, throw out those plasma whips in these ways, but you have to. <gasps> Oh no, going off no, the fair, and that's like how that, that ends? Uh, yeah, that's a bummer, that's a bummer. But ASAR will take that any day of the week. Distortion, unfortunately, bowing out. We will not see them tomorrow, but we will see ASAR if that was to move on in that pool. That was a sad ending. That yeah. was the end to our block. Yeah, a bit of a bummer, but, <laughs> you know, it'd be like that often. But that won't be the last time you see us. We'll both be back commenting tomorrow, so... Yep. When are, you, when are you commentating? Um, I can't remember the exact time. I think it's like around once. Top. Tisk tisk. Come Listen, on, man. We have I'm at technology. 11. Oh, I'm at 11 with Komodo on VGBC2, and then I'm also commentating top six of Melty Blood. Hype. Hype. I'm, I'm um, either at one or three with Logic on Amazing. The duo. That's yeah. a duo that you guys are really good together. We actually haven't worked together in a little <laughs> while because um, when Omicron hit, I had to bow out because like I couldn't afford to get sick. <laughs> 